Hello everyone. I'm here today with a new process video and I have, it's a six by eight layout, but not really. I've got an extra flip out here. So I have more space to work with. So as you can see, I have one, two, three spots I have to fill with cards of some type. One of them will probably be journaling. The other two will just be kind of more generic travel things, I think, because I certainly don't need three spots of journaling. But I do want to showcase the bridge. This layout is from my trip to Cincinnati. And if you haven't heard of it, this is the famous Roebling suspension bridge. It might look familiar because it looks a lot like the Brooklyn Bridge in New York. And that's because the same guy designed it. He actually did this one first. This was kind of the prototype for the Brooklyn Bridge. So it was very fun to see it. We actually walked across it. I have lots more photos of it, but these are what I am choosing to use here because I can't put in everything. The album would just be too big. But I think my start here is just to work on finding some cards. So I should probably tell you that while I do have a bin of stuff for Cincy, I didn't pull specific cards unless they were for the zoo because that was our whole reason for going and we spent an entire day there so I did pull some cards for that that I think I might use but for normal cards I didn't we did such a variety of stuff when we were there that I just figured you know what when it comes time to do it I'll just go through everything so that's that's my plan here so I just wanted to show you I actually have three of these zippered pouches of my three by four cards for travel and I do them by the color of the rainbow it's just easier for me to find them. So I start with black and white, and then I go through red, pink, orange, yellow, green, etc. So you can kind of see where they are delineated here. So I'm just going to go section by section, start looking through things, seeing what I might like. Obviously, I have a lot of blue, brown, and green happening here, but a black and white card you know, it's always good. It's hard to go wrong because I always journal in, well, not always, but 98% of the time I journal in black ink. So generally that works, but we'll just see what I find. For my green cards, I found this one and I like it because it leaves me the journaling room. I like that it says travel details, but I also am enjoying this green. We were there in kind of mid-May and Things were starting to bloom, obviously, and I feel like this green is closer. A real bright Kelly green would not be as good of a match, I don't think. Maybe over here, but I still like this one. I just feel like, I feel like that's better. And I may do it on the inside just to bring in some of that green because once you're over here, there really isn't much. You see a little bit in the background, that's it. So maybe this will sit here or here just to bring that in. I'm not, I'm not sure yet, but I still have two other cards to find. In my blue section, I found this one that I really like, and it did feel like an adventure because we actually walked all around the base and then we walked the whole length of the bridge across the Kentucky side on the other side of the river. So it was an adventure. However, it's a lot of blue happening and I think that if I use this I'm going to trim it down and do a white border just to bring in something else because it's kind of it's kind of a lot the way it is and I think breaking it up with a little white mat would be a good thing. I have also found this card and I love the color of it. I think it's a good match. However I have the same problem. I feel like maybe it's too much brown and so I would need to trim it down maybe not sure maybe if I just do this one with a white border it might help but seeing them both like this it's it's a lot so I don't know maybe I'll have to get creative with how I lay them out maybe that would solve some of the problem too I don't know I'm gonna mess around with it and then if I decide to cut them down it's no big deal it'll be fine all right, I think I've figured out my placement here. I did decide to cut this down and I matted it on the white and I really, I really like that. So that's good. I think I'm going to put this on the outside. It's a lot of text happening, but I like it with the white card here because then it's white here. There's a white border. They seem like they go together. And then when I flip, the brown will be on the inside. 
So I think it works both for when the flap is folded and when it's open. Excuse me, <clears throat> my voice is kind of going. I've been sick for a while. I actually just found out I have bronchitis and it's just taking forever for me to get rid of it. And it's sadly, it's making my voice a bit of a challenge. For this card, I've actually decided to do a little bit of ink splattering. I have this one, which is just a matte. There's, there's no shine to it at all. And I've had this forever, years and years, and still going. It takes forever to use up one of these, which, which is totally fine. And I'm not even sure that this is still made, but the color is Margarita, as you can see. So if you're interested in it, it's Memories Miss Margarita. No idea if it's still out there but I use it a lot. I love it. And it's a little bit almost more towards an olive tone too, which I think works well with the photos that I've got going. And I just want a little bit, not a ton. There we go. A little bit down there. Ooh. That was even a little bit more than what I had planned, but you know what? It'll be fine. I think luckily, this set I know is from a digital file set that I have. So if I decided, oops, I put too much on there and I didn't like it, I could easily reprint that at home, but I'm sure I'll keep it. So when I put it up next to the photo, I think it did help to do the splattering. I think it just adds just enough of a little bit of green so that it's not so much blue that's in your face. Plus then you see these together, which is pretty nice. So here's a look with all the cards in place where they're going to be. I like the look of that very much. So now I just have to figure out how am I going to embellish this. The inside definitely needs something. Out here, I'm not sure. I kind of like this as is. If I did anything, like it might be down here at the bottom, but I don't know that it needs it. But the inside certainly does. I'm thinking maybe even add something to this card. I just don't know what. Maybe even, hmm. There are green geotags here. Maybe I need one of those. I'm not sure I have this color, but it's an idea. But I just need to add something to liven it up a little bit. I've grabbed out my color separated travel items here, and I went with black, white, gray, blue, green, and then brown. I actually have my purple and brown together because I don't have a lot of either color but hopefully there's something brown maybe I can use, but if not, maybe these other colors are gonna have to do the job. I have found a few items that I like. I'm just not sure if they're all gonna work. Primarily this one, I love it. I love that it's got the right green that I want, but also a little bit darker green. However, it just seems like it's a little too big. Like it just doesn't really fit anywhere. So I don't know that that one's going to be that usable. But for the other greens, I had this label in there, which I like. I even love that it has a little arrow. I could use that many ways if I wanna add that. This one I also love, similar color, but it almost feels like maybe it's a two, it's a little too on the nose that it's got a geotag just like this one does. Cause I thought about, oh, I could put it up here, but I feel like that's almost too, too matchy matchy but I'm not giving up. I'm gonna keep it just in case. And then this one was in there and it just says travel life, which is appropriate for what's happening here. And again, I could use it in multiple ways. Maybe not here, I don't like that. It looks too stacked, but here certainly, maybe over here, I'm not sure. But so at least I have some green items to work with so far. Unfortunately, in looking through my brown stuff, I didn't find anything I liked in the blue. Not really anything I was crazy about either. So, so far, I think I'm going to use this green label. I'm gonna just hang it over a little bit, snip off the rest, and that leaves me a huge amount to use for something else, which is always great. So I have that. The rest, I'm really not sure. I'm still debating on these, but I do still have my black, white, and gray. In my black, white, and gray items, I did find this one. It says Landmark. And this is one of the most famous things in Cincinnati. So I feel like that is appropriate for what I'm doing here. And it is a very light gray with black. I don't think it's that far off from these. So I think it will be fine. And I'm planning on doing it here, I think, just to kind of cover up 
that piece of suspension there, or do I like it better here? Tough to decide. Actually, you know what? No, I think I like it there. So let me just attach it quickly, and then this one may be done. There we go. So let's put that in there and see how it looks. Is that enough? Do I need more? So when this is closed, that's what you see. And then when you flip it open, that's what you see. You know what? I like that. I think this one is done. I don't think it needs anything else. So here's another one finished for Cincy. Thanks for watching.